Hi, hello, Monica. Hello, I'm, I'm your camp host today. Wow, that's crazy. At Bumping Lake Campground. That changed quickly. Yeah, right, I went from a pot packager to, <laughs> to this, whatever this is. I guess maybe working your way up in the world. I'm not sure exactly where that falls. Mm, working away, working my way around the world. Hey, I like that better. That's the best. Yeah. Well, if you haven't heard, we're no longer at the marijuana farm. Mm -hmm. We got jobs as campground hosts in the Wenatchee National Forest for the rest of the summer. Yep, so here we are. As you can see, there are actual real trees behind us. This is the first time we haven't been in a desert environment for eight months. And to think we've been in actual bus life mode now for, you know, somewhat just over a year. Uh, it's kind of crazy to think that we've been deprived of the woods this long. Yeah, I forgot how like spidery and buggy it was here, but it smells amazing. Yeah, we're yeah, running really nice. running into mosquitoes for the first time in quite some time. Yeah, super fun. Do you want to show them the surprise? Well, kind of, not really. For some of you. Hello, Gideon. This is our new doggy boy. Gideon. Hi. He is a German Shepherd Hound mix. We just adopted him. Maybe just over a year or just under a year old. Yep, he's very sweet, uh, a little protective, which is good. So, but he hasn't like nipped or anything like that at people yet. No. But has taken off on a beeline and luckily he's been on a leader. <laughs> this way. Nice. <laughs> he really likes pine cones. Loves pine cones. Come here, Gideon. Show him your face. Okay, he just wants me to pet his back end, so we're gonna get more of a side face here. So for next week's video, Cole's gonna put together a video that's kind of an update for you guys. Um, how we got this new job position and a little bit of our work on the farm. Yeah, so you get to see a little bit what we've been up to this year, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then this adventure vlog, we cruise through Olean, New York. We really just stopped to get Wi-Fi. We worked at Tim Hortons. They had terribly slow internet. Yeah. And then we were onwards to the most northwestern corner of Pennsylvania, and we visit Presque Isle. Yep. Enjoy. Bye. All right, we are filled up on diesel. The gentleman inside the mobile 7-Eleven combination gave us our coffees for free, which is awesome. Yeah, just another small kind act. It's amazing how you can make a person's day just by doing something, uh, you know, nice. He probably figured, wow, they just spent $55 on fuel. <laughs> just take the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> blew past our destination today. Cole was like, let's keep driving. And we kept driving. A whole like extra 20 miles. Yeah, but it's about an extra 20 degrees cooler here. <laughs> it feels like, it's not really, but. We found a Planet Fitness. So we're gonna shower. So we were gonna be stopping in Bemis Point, but now we're in Erie, yep. along What's Lake that? Erie. So I can feel the lake breeze. I don't know exactly where the lake is to where we are currently, but you definitely can tell a difference in temperature right now. So before we went to Planet Fitness, I was just like, this isn't right. Like we're in sun. I've never seen it not be charging with some sort of sun. So I jumped underneath the bed and I noticed that the, uh, the switch or 60 amp fuse that I have the, between the solar panels and the solar charge controller, that had flipped. It's now charging the system and it's receiving wattage. Everything seems fine. So I'll just have to closely monitor that over the next little bit, make sure that that doesn't get tripped again, but that's why we haven't been charging. So that could have happened actually even yesterday yeah. and explained why it wasn't charging the system. So 
Uh, as of now though, our system is recharging, so that is really good news. All right, look, I'm so fresh and clean. Oh, wow. Isn't it great? It's fantastic. The one thing I was gonna mention is, instead of the actual 60 amp fuse being tripped, it could have just been me knocking it with one of the boards that we used to level the bus when we left our last campground. Um, Cause there is a physical button for like you to push on it. Um, so that possibly could have been it as well. Everyone convinced Monica to try to free camp on a peninsula off of Lake Erie with me tonight. I just feel like it's gonna be inconvenient if we're like going to bed and then park rangers like you gotta get the hell out of here. So. Or they may not give any fucks on a Sunday evening. I don't know. We'll see I guess cause it, he's my bus driver so he's probably gonna make me do it. Being kidnapped. <laughs> You're being kidnapped? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it wasn't the smoothest arrival. No, Cole tried to break my neck. Monica was <laughs> moving some shit around aka my beer for me and while we were moving and I came to a yellow light and she went flying. So that happened. My neck is getting stiffer by the minute, so. Sorry about the whiplash. Maybe more than whiplash. What's your reaction to the view here though? It's way prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Looks... I thought it was gonna be like brown water and gross, oh. but it looks really pretty. Straight up, I feel like I'm in the Caribbean right now. The water looks great. It's so strange. I really thought our beach adventures were going to be done for quite some time after leaving the East Coast. So I'm really glad we ended up coming this way instead of going to Canada because now we're back in beach country. Yeah, I'm already glad we didn't go that way. Yeah. So much more rewarding. So apparently you're not supposed to swim at unguarded beach locations, but we're currently at an unguarded uh, beach location and people are obviously swimming. So. I guess that's just a cliff note and a safety advisor type thing. It's $6 to go up into the lighthouse and you can go into the house itself. If we want to walk around the house, that's actually free, Monica. Oh, just the house part? Yeah, okay. but it's it's cost money to go up into the lighthouse. The proceeds of that actually go to helping do restorations on this building that was clearly first established in 1872, so, because it's written on the side. Like they didn't, the guy just did not let us in. Yeah, I almost want to go back to the gift shop because I know she said you can go walk around in the house, you just can't go up the lighthouse <laughs> unless you want to pay six dollars. I almost want to go back just to prove that that numb nut, but obviously he's here and he works here, so maybe he's right and the other people are wrong. But Who knows? on a cliff note, whoever <laughs> on a cliff note. I just don't understand how you could even charge six dollars to like just go in a house and then go up a lighthouse. It's like not even a large lighthouse either, you know. Yeah, if it was like a tour of like a couple of them or something, I could see it, but that is pretty steep. So they must really need the money. Yeah, you're gonna charge twelve dollars for just to walk in it. It's just fucking stupid. We doubled back, I am gonna be checking out a beach called Piney Beach, I believe. I think it's known for uh kite flying. I just want to see if it's going to be appropriate for us to swim at. They also had some grills, so we're going to be grilling later. Hopefully this is the place because we both are really wanting to take a dip and get situated for the afternoon here. I'm so excited to see what the beach looks like from here. Huge beach. Wow, this is ginormous. Holy cow. Crazy. All right, this looks great. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the bus moved a little bit closer now. But I know the lay of the land. All right, kids. Well, the truth is, is sometimes you just don't get 100% along during bus life. And between us not necessarily really getting along, navigating the roads to get here earlier today, and then obviously me accidentally throwing Monica across the bus when I had to put on the brakes at a hard yellow light uh, and she hurt her neck after she fell, which isn't funny. It's just funny in hindsight. I'm super happy that she is okay. But yeah, so we got to our beach location and she didn't feel like going to the beach, which is okay. And so I took a dip in Lake Erie. She hung out in the bus. Uh, and now we've kind of changed positions. She's walking about, she's gonna take some photos, have some time sitting on the beach and I'm just gonna keep myself occupied elsewhere. And will make a better evening of it. So we're still planning on doing barbecuing here. And apparently I just read via the postcard that I purchased for my grandmother that this particular park, according to National Geographic, was voted as the second best sunsets in the world. dying. At least it's cool here. Got a nice cool breeze. Somebody had uh, left some lump charcoal at the bottom so I threw my coals on top and just gave it a good blow and boom we're in business. May have been the easiest start up to grilling I've ever had. Pretty easy start up eh? Have these really nice pine trees over us makes for a good atmosphere. If you're not aware of Beyond Meat burgers, they are kind of supposed to taste like meat. For me, it's just a really good veggie burger that's like super hearty. I wouldn't say that it tastes like meat very much, um, but it is delicious. I've been craving a burger. It's like blackened zucchini is one of the best things ever. Oh, hot. Okay, we're almost done. It's taking a while. Yo, whatever kind of mosquitoes these are, they're relentless. They are the biggest things I've ever seen in my life, and they do not care whether you have bug spray on or not. They get two fucks. Nope, and we like kind of ran out of bug spray while we were spraying ourselves, so. Bad time to run out of bug spray. Wish us luck. <laughs> Guys, that, that got serious quick. I got bit again. Ooh. Got it. On my face? Yeah, sorry. Oh. There was so many mosquitoes. Monica just ran back out there to get all of our barbecue stuff because we had to like run inside the bus to eat and get away from them and Man. I, it's insane like I'm just, I'm just I keep looking at you I hope you keep looking at me because yeah. we just have to continually kill mosquitoes currently Thank God, that was not good that was nuts I have never been attacked like that before I don't tell, them, <laughs> tell them what you said oh I said it's a good thing no one was watching me when I went over there because I like ran over, I had a bag, and I was shoving all of our stuff in the bag. <laughs> it looked like you are stealing stuff. <laughs> yeah. I flipped the corn real quick, which might just stay over there forever. I don't yeah. know. Corn may be going to nature. Yeah. Jeez Louise. I think this is bear country still, too, somehow, on this <laughs> peninsula. Yeah, we need to go back and get it somehow. It's okay. We'll pull around there, and I'll jump out. Yeah. That was brave of you. I can't believe I got... Uh, how long do you think I was over there? One minute? A uh, tops. Less? I got yeah. bit two or three more times. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I was like finishing grilling uh, 
and just like have them swarming like they're the ones that just like sit on top of your shirt and like will bite you through your shirt too it was uh it was not pretty i'm kind of interested to see how many bug bites we have uh later on i'm bummed because we just read cole's postcard he got for gaga and it said lake erie has the best sunset second best sunset in the entire world according to nat geo but I'm not feeling like I really want to go out there. They didn't mention the mosquitoes. I don't know if I give a shit. Yeah, they did not. Get... Uh... I'm wondering if it's any better on the beach, or do you think now? This is probably where you should be, yeah. It could That's be like Florida. Lake Erie is where the best sunsets are. <laughs> I was talking about the mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, better. Okay. Legit just raining right now. There's like one storm cloud above us, but like actually raining new pants do this yeah they're so hip and millennial and instagram-ish hoping for some good sunset colors maybe i can get some sunset photos on the beach what is going on for real this is crazy there's like one storm cloud above us and it is like raining Man, if there's a rainbow like right next to the beach, that'd be tight. Look at this beach, everyone. Private beach. We have it all to ourselves for the sunset. This is the exact same place we were at earlier. Monica was setting up a little photo shoot for us. Yep. We don't it's ever our... have like super set up photos, so. Exactly, this is our first staged photo shoot. So go check that out on Instagram. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> nice. Wow, such cool rays. That's awesome. I think we're going to have one hell of a sunset here. That looks amazing. Do you forgive me for making you fall on your face? Yes. We look really good in the sunlight. Oh, better. You, uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> this is really good lighting. I don't think it gets better lighting than this. No, you'll never see us I, look any better than this. I so. wish I had something way more important to say than you know, what I we're even saying right now. I put eyebrows on for this. So. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice. <laughs> you look fabulous. Cole saw someone in the parking lot with bug spray, so he went up and was like, hey, I saw your bug spray, and the guy let us borrow it, and when I gave it back, I was very expressive, and I was like, listen, you, like, saved our lives, and they were just like, eh, I was like, you don't understand, <laughs> they really did, because we would not be able to be out here right now, because that was quite the situation. Guys, it's happening. The sun is about to officially go down. Ooh. There it goes. Isn't it so crazy? Ah! And then it's... Bing. Uh... That was cool, right? That's super cool. Someone just clapped. <laughs> Someone just clapped. <laughs>